pretty Friday afternoon. Got a little bonus visit going down here. Going to be able to hopefully get the filler work done on the bonnet, at least the first round of filler work. Um, just to kind of pick up where we left off. Still got some work on the nose here to do. Another round of filler needs in these spots. I haven't completely sanded this down, but it's pretty close. Uh, I found a ding over here somewhere that I got to take care of. Halfway decent low spot here and back here. I put some hammer and dolly to that stuff. You can see those marks in the filler there. That indicates the low spots also. I need to scuff up this wing and then get some filler down on that once I figure out where that needs to go. And then um, hopefully, I got uh, about four and a half hours or so, hopefully, maybe a little less than that, I can get this uh, to the point where I'm ready to paint and maybe even, uh, even get paint on it. That'd be really good. And then would save my Sunday visit to be able to start uh, the next round completely. We'll see. Not too bad on this side. There's a couple spots. And then back here where the latch is, that's always not going to seem to be that well. I had applied some Bondo, some filler, a little spot there, a little spot there. I got to put a little bit more in there. But otherwise, I'm all right with that. I did hammer this out a little bit, but I still want to put some filler here. And then this in here, I need to do some. And then I'm going to reapply in some spots on the nose. I got a low spot right there. You can see that little ding. Uh, and then in here, even though it looks like it's sanded down pretty smooth, I got a couple lows up here. And I'm just going to kind of cover this again and try to keep this a little bit more rounded out. I can kind of feel that low in there just to try to get a little bit more of a, of a curve there. But otherwise, I'm uh, crossing my fingers happy. All right, second application of filler on top here, and then the initial application down on the side. Um, obviously, quite a bit down there on the uh, the back side. A lot of that I expect to sand out. This uh, repair down here in this in this front edge of the the wing is going to be uh, probably a little nasty, but I'll deal with that when I get there. Again, those little three spots there were previously fillered. I'm just hitting them the second time, and then I finally remembered to get the little divot that I had sanded into this, uh, the wing of the flare a long time ago and got that on pretty good and that's just fiberglass there because I want some added strength. So that'll just clean up and I'll sand a lot of that by hand to kind of fare that in. So uh, give it a couple more minutes here, let it cure up a little bit better and then I'll get to sanding. About 4.15 or so, not gonna get epoxy on the uh, bonnet tonight, unfortunately. Just uh, don't have enough time from the time I have to leave to let the paint induce and get cleaned up and all that kind of stuff. So, um, but I think uh, for the most work here, I am done with the filler, except for maybe spots here and there. So what I'm gonna do now is go over everything with um, like 150 and upgrade up to 220 and get it, uh, get it nice and smooth. I got the holes re, re poked through for the, uh, for the filler. I just used that uh, same trick that I did last time on the bonnet with the round file out of here and just uh, stuck the round file in here and got it done. So uh, I'll just smooth everything up now and look for some uh, other highs and lows and see what I end up with and then hopefully it'll be good and I can spray it when I get over here on Sunday. Already, I have it uh, smoothed out all the way up to 220 grit and then over with a red scuff pad. I went over uh, essentially hand over hand and tried to touch every little piece of it, run my hand over it and uh, while there are imperfections, nothing that uh, I'm too incredibly concerned with or that can't, I can't live without, I don't think. I did find a couple spots right there, a couple dings right in that little corner there, a ding. And then up in the nose here, I had forgotten that that got shot in. I had uh, did some hammer and dolly work on that, but I never got filler on it. So I got that. But again, there are imperfections in here and I may very well change my mind when I put epoxy on this thing and it gets all nice and shiny and I can see the uh, the waves in it and everything but uh, but for now feeling it yeah there's stuff but uh, I'm gonna live with it for now so we'll see when I actually get paint on it otherwise I'm gonna sand those things down and that's gonna be it for me to tonight and I'll see you on Sunday all right welcome back Sunday about 9 15 or so a little bit of a late start today the uh, the bonnet as I consider it now is good to go I'm gonna get another round of epoxy primer on it but not until the end of the day so then I'll take another look and see how straight it really is I'm sure there's some low spots in there and everything but real hard to see with all the 
filler shining through and all that kind of stuff. Even if I get it wet, it's kind of hard to determine where the highs and the lows are. So I'll uh, scooch this back into the paint booth over there, and then I'm going to get to starting work on the body. So the front of the car here, and I am, as I've mentioned, essentially from this, this point down in the bulkhead and down, it will be in Raptor Liner, just the, the firewall itself there and the very front to give me a, uh, a good rough spot there. There's some body work that needs to go on there. You can see all in here. That was from where I was repairing that piece there. I kind of beat the heck out of the firewall a little bit. But I'm not going to spend a whole lot of time because, like I said, I am going to cover this all in Raptor Liner and that will cover a lot of the stuff up. I'm not going to concern myself too much. But I do want to get some filler on these pits in here and get that covered up and get it smoothed out. And then I've got this uh, spot in here, which I didn't do a real good repair on in the first place. Get that banged out. Get some fiberglass over this, over the patches, and then get that in filler. And then a couple big dents right here that I got to take out. Got smacked somehow, either with the, I don't even know how that, there's a big heavy duty creases in there. And then uh, I think the top sail plate here is all going to be in good shape. I don't see anything in there, especially since the windshield's going to go across a lot of that. I'm not going to concern myself too much. And then I'll uh, start working down the side. So sometimes you just kind of get burned out on this stuff. And uh, that's, that's where I am this fine Sunday morning. So it's about uh, 10, of, 10 of 11 or so. And I got some fiberglass down on this, but I'm just not, uh, not feeling the, the sanding and body work today. So I'm going to cut that short, but I'm going to make myself some more room in the booth there. I do have some epoxy primer inducing here. I got about 16 ounces, so hopefully that's enough. I think I mixed about 10 last time, and if you remember, I ran a little short of coats. So hopefully I will get uh, just started the induction process. So I'll get this uh, cleaned up back here in the booth and get two wet coats on that guy and then probably call it a day. Well, sometime happens, uh, you miss some spots, so I had to get a couple little dabs of filler on here. There was a little ding right there, a little uh, little high spot right there, and then I did this spot before, but it wasn't that great. So as I was just running my hand over it, I uh, felt those, so I'm going to go ahead and take care of those after this cures up, and then uh, move along with paint. I ended up putting three coats down because I made up too much paint, and uh, just enough that I, I didn't want to go go to waste on it so I got three coats down there looks okay I still need to do a better job at sanding everything down uh, a lot of sanding scratches still in here but uh, for the most part I don't really see a whole lot of or any really dings or, or spots that I miss that, that are obvious anyway once it's dried and, and uh, I can touch it and move around on it a little bit better I'll, I'll take a look in a flashlight but otherwise uh, looking looking halfway decent so we'll see all right folks that's all I got for the weekend thanks so much for watching liking and subscribing please leave any comments in the uh, area below let me know what you think uh, move along pretty good on the bonnet there got it in three coats of wet epoxy and uh, kind of gave up on the body work for today getting a little burned out so uh, I'm gonna go home and, and watch some football and, and kind of recharge a little bit and I'll be back midweek have a good weekend cheers